sit, shake. Shake with that paw, good boy. Roughly sit, shake, shake, good boy. Sit down, shake with this paw, good boy. Now you get a treat. Hey, hey, sit, good boy. So I'm out here training her up the way to stick by me and listen. And of course there's another dog coming. So it's gonna be interesting to see how he responds. Ruffaloo, hey. 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 Stay. Stay. Distracted her from the squirrel. That was what she was barking at. Be good. Walk nice. Okay. Stop it. So I'm trying to teach him to sit and stay. He does not mind at all when it comes to other people and other dogs. So, well, I just thought I would check in and say what's up to everybody. First week at Swap Shop, swap shop was good. Ralph Louie, slow down. Really like it over there. It's a good time. There's always something funny going on. It's probably one of the last semi-warmer days. It's not really hot or warm or anything. It's like currently, I think, 50, no, 61. So it's going to be in the 60s today, but it's going to gonna rain a few times. And if you live in the Northwest, you understand how the weather is here. So it's just going to be cloudy, rainy, cloudy, rainy consistently. And get in the 40s, low 50s, and just kind of stay there. It's gonna be kind of nice just having a year here compared to being in paradise weather where it's always sunny. Just a change of pace, and we'll see how I get through this. So far, so good, um, but I've had nothing but pretty good weather for the most part for Oregon been getting a little frustrated with the dog when we go on walks because he does this he just goes slow like really slow like this is my pace and then he'll like speed up I figured I'd bring some treats train him up a little bit and go to a less distracting area you gonna catch up bro what are you doing come on and I get it he has small legs but he just has super ADHD and just goes wherever he wants. So I have him clipped to my belt area. Should probably stop because there's a lady up there with her dog. So let's go back. Roughly this way. Come on. But um gonna work on John's bikes today come on gonna be doing that got to get some stuff ready for powder coat the other thing I'm trying to get him to understand is to not have to pee on everything maybe time to start looking into getting him fixed he's not fixed and I think that's why he has to mark his territory everywhere we go He's a great dog. He just is not good at going on walks. Never has. He doesn't really seem to understand what to do or something. I don't know. I try and keep him right, right by my side. And he does this. He just kind of gets distracted, slows down. And then he'll speed back up. Try to get him to stay on one side. Doesn't listen. 
and I'll move over, push him over. He'll stay for a little bit, and then he does this. Ruffley, come on, let's go. What are you doing? So if anybody has any tips on how to train your dog to walk better with you, because I want to eventually get him off leash, but doing this, he just doesn't seem to get it. Right now he's kind of just tethered to me, I'm trying to just give him commands instead of yanking him around, because yanking him around isn't helping but we'll see other than that yeah just gonna work on john's bikes today get the stuff ready for powder coat and hopefully take that stuff this week maybe tomorrow to the powder coater see what it costs and see what john has to say hey no definitely no Good boy. Let's go. Come on. But yeah, that's just a little update on me. Nothing else. So, I'll see you guys on the next one.